Was there ever a moment when you thought it was going to go wrong and it didn't? With Colin McRae quite a few times. <laughs> Good morning comrades and today Tom and I are going to the new Ford Focus presentation. There's going to be a separate video made by him where you're going to find out everything about the car but this is going to be a vlog vlog and see how the media event looks like. It's going to be your first time right? Yeah, yeah. At the exactly. media presentation. Yeah, so most importantly food shot obviously. Yeah, and I think this definitely deserves a food shot. You ready for this? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Oh yeah. And you can even eat the bowl. Yeah. I'm still waiting for my stuff and I got a tuna fish because you can tune a car but you cannot tune a fish. And I know if you can tune a Ford Focus, well probably an RS and ST, but we will have to wait another year or two for that. Duty free means that we have passed the security check and the full bag of camera gear. Didn't get it's any true. check. Yeah, it's true, didn't get any check. My gimbal, which is in my bag, didn't get check. But she had to inspect, was she the lady at the, um, what do you call it, TSA? Yeah, TSA, yeah. yeah. At TSA, had to inspect my pot of wax because there was like, it didn't say how many milliliters it was. I'm like, well, it's wax in the first place. It's not even a liquid. What's the issue? But yeah, I was afraid that I wouldn't be stylish tomorrow. But the event is today anyway. And this morning I was like, hmm, should I wear a porn shit cap? No, it's a Ford event. Let's not do that. Are we going the right direction? I've got no idea. Yeah, 38, yeah. Should be that way. Let's go. Looks like London. <laughs> if you say so. Tom, did you bring your axe with you? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't think I'd need it. Yeah, I hope we won't need it. Cut here in emergency. Hmm. So, Tom, what are you going to do on a flight? Yeah, for people who are gonna say that those are wireless, they're just out of battery. Yeah, I didn't charge them. Mm. I hope you charge the camera. Yeah, I think it's got a bit of juice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mandatory airplane food shots. Going for British Air biscuits. Not a tea though, but okay. It's posh corn. Posh corn. Yeah, of course. Sweet and salty. You know me, Misha? I do not. Yep, we're definitely in London. How's it feel to be it's back? Good to be back, man. It's good to be back. <laughs> and a while later, we have a big welcome sign inside from Ford. So I guess this must be the place. That's it. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. So just arrived at the venue, waiting for a viewing. What's your first impression? That seems cool. Seems like a lot of people, a lot of familiar faces around here. Yeah, actually. familiar faces. <laughs> awesome. Now let's go get some drinks and get the show on the road. Mm, what should I go for? What should I go for? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Stephen Armstrong. Well, good afternoon. And to everyone in the room and everyone joining us online worldwide, welcome. Today, we're going to share with you the all new. Ford Focus, and this is, quite simply, the best car in our 114 year history. That original Focus and the WRC version was built in Europe, designed in Europe, but it came to America and it changed Ford and how the company was seen globally, including China. And Colin and Nikki in that Focus were absolute magic for all of us. And now it gives me great pleasure for me to welcome Nikki Grist onto the stage. All right, so this is this is pretty cool, and I'm a little I'm a little nervous, but um, I had it. I know everyone has a couple questions. Yeah. The first one is um, of uh, 20 win, 21 wins. Yeah more than almost a decade at the very top of motorsports. Was there ever a moment when you thought it was gonna go wrong and it didn't? With Colin McRae quite a few times. <laughs> but the guy had such tremendous car control. I think a lot of people thought him as crazy and slightly mad, 
but the guy had such car control, he's almost assessing what parts of the scenery he can use to keep the car on the road. And to be honest, there was times where we crashed and we crashed a lot, but we had one event, particularly just to give you an idea. We went to Greece and there was a new stage and it was on the last day and we're on the reconnaissance. We we're only allowed to go at low speed. When we come, I said, right, straight past the junction on the right. And he stops for a second and he's looking at something. And I said, what's wrong? And to give you an idea, we're traveling along a piece of road. It goes into a dip, junction off on the right, climbs back up onto the same level. Now it's at least three car lengths across this. I said, what are you thinking? He said, I think we can jump this. <laughs> so, okay. But he said, we'll make the pace notes like we're going through it. So that's what we did. He sent his father back the day after where he could try it at speed in a, in a kind of an average road car, destroyed this car. So anyway, Malcolm Wilson, our team boss, was very concerned and wondered, you know, he came up to me and said, Nick, tell me about this jump. He said, I've got a written off car here. And I said, well, it's pretty a long way across there, Malcolm. Maybe you'll gain something, but what the outcome will be, I don't know. I said, what do you think? He said, I'm going to leave him to it. So we did the first day we were leading. Second day we were leading. So now we're counting off. We had three stages twice. So we did the first stage everything fine. Second stage, everything fine. And then we come to this stage. <laughs> so we're at the start line. And I said, listen, I need to know what are we going to do with this jump? And he said, I don't know. He said, I'm going to see how I feel when I get there. <laughs> so now it's 36 kilometers. And I knew this was on the last page of the notes. So I'm resetting the trip meters and off we go. So we come down off this hill, long four left opens, wall outside, 150 flat crest, and caution, medium crest, and dip, and six crest, 70. Expecting, at this time, a big braking session down through the gears. And all I could hear was, mm, he was going for it. <laughs> Out of my control, there's nothing you can do. Fortunately, the front of the car got over it, the back wheels just touched the top of the hill, kicked us up in the air sideways down a ditch, people running everywhere. We get to the end of the stage. I said, my God, we won't be doing that this afternoon. He said, I got the line a little bit wrong. He said, this afternoon, we're going to take it further to the right. But, but that gives you an idea of what Colin McRae was like. very fearless and and what a partner you guys a partnership you guys had and yeah. congratulations on a great career is there a win that really sticks out for you well for me and with Ford particularly I think when we started in 99 it was it was a tough decision that Colin made because the car hadn't even started let alone turned the wheel and the f initial testing didn't go well because we were trying to cram 12 months into a, a matter of weeks so Monte Carlo rally Swedish rally didn't go so well and then we went to the toughest rally in the world. And it's, give you some idea, in Kenya, Safari Rally, it's 1,700 miles of just pure hell. It's the toughest conditions you could ever throw at anything. And we changed a big pace note system, and we prepared well, we drove a great rally. But do you know that focus never missed a beat? We knew we had a strong car, and we actually won it by 15 minutes. So, you know, from that point of view, if you're going to win a rally with a Ford Focus, why not make it the toughest rally in the world? Oh, that's incredible. And, and you won, I think, I looked in the, um, your, your career, I think you won that three or four times? Yes, we have. And all the rough events, the Focus was incredibly strong in Acropolis Rally in Greece, Cyprus Rally, Argentina, all the rough events became ours and we had a tremendous success. And it, it set us up quite often for winning championships, but we never quite got there. But that's the McRae factor for you. Well, you're part of the Ford family and you're a huge reason why we love Focus and why we have a sport version of Focus. So, Nikki, on behalf of all of us, thank you very much thank for you. being here. I'm proud to be here. So, Tom. Is uh, focus in focus in your camera? I hope so. Okay. Can't do it again, can we? Was that the ba first bad joke of the day, or a word of more? No, it's not the first one. <laughs> it's not the first one. Well, that's it, guys, for the actual car reveal and video. Make sure to stay tuned because this will be published later on. Video will be made by Tom Stamp, hopefully in a couple of.
I'll soon. get time to do it soon, yeah, for sure. Yeah, soon. Uh, but yeah, the story of Colin McRae gave me goosebumps and I really wanted to share it with you from top to the end and to keep a bit of difference between his video and that well, the casual vlog. And here, uh, childhood memories. Because lots of parents of my childhood friends, like back in the high school, used to have the first ever Focus. And now, 20 years later, and 16 million models of them being sold, we uh, we are witnessing the latest generation. And I never thought that I would be this excited to uh, to test drive uh, the, the Focus Active that we got presented today. Because yeah, there will be a proper test drive to see how Common people do extraordinary things by an uh, easy accessible car. In this case, I think Tom and I should go like to Adenau Forest. I reckon it'll go over the grass at Forest. <laughs> I reckon it'll do it. No, I, I'm not talking about driving on the track and going over it, but to access the Adenau Forest like uh, spectator area, yeah, sure. you need to go uh, like do some quiet off-roading. And this is something that we should do. Maybe we can ask Nürburgring if we can, can do the Steins tracker with it. Yeah, we could do. That would be cool, that would be cool. Yeah, okay, but for now, let's go to our hotel. You okay? Yeah, it's quite funny. What? At the minute, sleeping on the floor because I've got this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? They're in the wrong line. Yeah, I know. Yeah, pump stamp. B for Boris. B for Boris, or, or B for Boosted. <laughs> I don't know if it's my surname or first name. I don't know either, you need to ask him. Okay, we are, as you can see, already at our hotel. Just picked up our key. Let's have a look at the rooms. Good start. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, this is interesting. Ooh, look at the view. Light. Light. Wow. Oh, okay, I'll do it in a bit. No, I will not share this bed with Tom Stamp. He has his own room. That's what we'll check in a bit. What view have you got London, man? Uh, can we call Ken Block? I believe he does things with Ford. He could do like a massive Gymkhana here. Hey, look. Yeah, almost. Almost got Canada Square in there. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah, yeah kind of. Look behind you, you got the Millennium Dome. Oh, Millennium Drone. <laughs> drone Dome. Drone Dome. Well, let's go check out your view. Okay, let's go a look. Oh, hmm, nice. Fapkins. Oh, do we have included a mini bar? I don't know. Uh, we have tea. We're in England, so that's good. We have mini bar. You have mini bar, but is it? Hmm. Nice Stops. whiskey and wow. everything. That's good. Oh, they have a shower and nice. a bath and a huge mirror. What do we have here? En ce moment, <laughs> Paris après shampooing végétal. Botanical Conditionné. A gentle mist luteur shampoo. Okay, what's this? Made in China. Pads, caps, cool. Nice. There's, there's a night button. Night button. You can push it. Do it to us. Oh, that's cool. So you don't bump your toes. Awesome. Makeup room. Make oh, makeup the room. Yeah, no, okay. don't do that. Let's go to your room. Have a look. Check it out. Oh, your view, bro. Oh. You even have a balcony. Beach. Dude. Beach. Man, wow. <laughs> Tom Stamp, oh. living the dream. Some spec on that. <laughs> Imagine if we were actually here for the morning, I could have done a time lapse of London waking up. Oh, man. Should we like ask if Ford can change our flight? Yeah. Dude, this is like. This is nice. This is awesome. Thank you, Ford. Now you can change your name to Tom Ford. Let's finish on this amazing view, awesome note. Where's the sun setting down? I guess they're somewhere, right? I, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you guys in tomorrow's vlog when we are going back to... Never. <laughs> going back to Never. Tomorrow we have a big group of customers from Ring Taxi. Uh, Ring Taxi, the company Ring Taxi, and they're gonna... What they said, they're like 50 people, but only two hours of TF. How can we do it? Well. Don't worry, we got you back, bro. So, see you tomorrow for more ring taxi action and hopefully we will have some rental car action. I mean, every day there are cars going out, but they just forget to capture them because I am so, like, captivated by the ring taxi. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. And first, most importantly, we we'll check out the food chat. What are you looking at?
complimentary Wi-Fi. Oh, nice. That's what I'm looking for. Cool, cool, cool. Good. Bye. Sweet. Food for the view. If it would have been a Fast and the Furious movie, but we're not. Oh, Thomas. What are you after? Well, these are amazing. So. Oh, sardines. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and then. I've got the avocado salad. I'm gonna go for a bit of chorizo salad here, mixed beans. Wow, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Meh, too healthy. The best part. Pump. We're almost in Nurburg. But then in Naderberg. Cheers to the Cheers. great Cheers. evening, fellas. Cheers. This is the new four focus. Yeah.